Hi guys, I'm here to share with you a crazy journey about how I discover what it feels like to be connected to your intuition 24 seven and how you can get there as well. How often does it happen to you that you receive a phone call and then when you look up, you just decide not to, not to reply? Yes. <laughs> okay, I have a problem here because I have two exceptions. One is my mother, I need to pick up. Second exception, my colors, my brushes, my pens, my crayons. When they call, there's no way I can hide, but I really need to pick up that call. And it comes at the most unexpected times. Sometimes I need to do a little sketch, and sometimes I end up doing a two meters big canvas, but I need to reply. And here I have an example of one painting that came out of these totally unexpected calls. Two months after I finished this painting, I met a wonderful couple at a birthday party. And they asked me to show them my paintings. When they saw this one, they loved it straight away. Have you ever felt something like a deja vu, but 10 times stronger? What I'm saying, 20 times stronger. I tell you how it feels like. You feel goosebumps from toe to head, and suddenly you get an enlightening realization. I had that at that same time, and all of a sudden, I knew I had painted them. And it was not even about their likeness, it was the knowing, it was them. So here there's Mauricio Marek, who actually today own my painting. So when this happened, I asked myself, could this possibly be a coincidence? Maybe. However, these coincidences related to my paintings started picking up momentum, and it happened often and often. I have another example. I remember I was hugging this friend who was leaving town to spend some time in a Greek island, and I was really sad about it. And at the moment I'm hugging him, you know what happened? I feel those goosebumps from toe to head, and suddenly I, know I knew. And I had to tell him, dude, you know what? I think I've painted this before. So I showed him this drawing that I've done two weeks before that happened. And as you can see, there is a sad girl literally crying, hugging this boy, and the boy has a palm tree and a sun coming out of his head. And then I asked myself again, is this a coincidence? Maybe. But to be honest, I really thought I was getting crazy or I just got spontaneously superpowers, or I could foresee the future, or a combination of the three. But there finally was something that was totally out of what my rational mind was able to understand. I am an artist, and when people ask me what kind of art I do, I get in trouble because I don't know what to answer. I never studied arts, but I always felt this connection with these tools, with the brushes, with the colors. When I start painting, I have nothing in mind but a feeling or a blurry image of where I want to go. But suddenly, I start grabbing the colors and feeling it and having fun. And I, most of the time, surprise myself about the result. But during the painting process, I'm really enjoying and having the fun. It happened so many times that after a few even years, I see my paintings again, and I'm like, wow, what I had in my mind. This is sick, super powerful, wow. <laughs> so I love that, I love that. I love surprising myself. So there was no doubt at that point that my paintings were talking to me, and they were giving me guidance, hints. There was some sort of connection. The turning point for me when, was when this guidance trespassed the canvas. So I started receiving this guidance and information in my real life, from conversations with friends, or even strangers, from smells, or even lyrics in songs. And I have an example, actually, for that. I remember this day, I leave home, I'm gonna grab a coffee, and I met this guy in the street who is a friend of a friend of a friend which I never see, that week I saw him already three times. He had a message for me. So he stops me and he says, Sabella, how are you doing today? And I reply, I'm not doing good. Uh, my business is, is, is doing really bad. I 
was having my own business at the time, and I tell you, it was not good times. So he replies, hey, have you ever thought about going to South Africa? What a random answer. I'm telling you my business is doing shit. Like, why South Africa? But you know what happened? I felt those goosebumps from toe to head, and I was booking my flight to South Africa the next day. <laughs> Three years later, I sold my company to a South African woman. Could this be a coincidence? Maybe, maybe, maybe. But what I realized after all these experiences that were happening to me is that probably I had reached what people call flow state, where one thing was taking me literally to the other effortlessly. And I was kind of collecting pieces of the puzzle and putting everything together. So at the end, it made sense. Literally, kind of almost switching off my brain, which is what I do where I'm painting. So I actually thought about maybe if I could do this in painting, I can show people how they can do themselves too and try to reach this connection. And I wanted to show you today one very simple, very simple, very powerful drawing exercise that I do when I need it the most, when I really need to connect to this um, intuition, gut feeling really quick. And for that, you only need one paper, two crayons, and one minute of your time. It's faster than a meditation. And I do it this way. I get the paper in front of me, I grab each crayon with each hand, and then I breathe. I think about all the things that are blocking my mind from letting this magic or this guidance come in. And when I'm ready, I start drawing on the paper with both hands at the same time. And the trick here is not to think about where the hands want to go, but just follow and have fun on the process. And at this moment, you are literally downloading all this overwhelming overthinking from your brain and into the paper. So you're leaving a space. The crayon might break, you might get out of the paper. It does not matter. It's about having fun. So when this is done and one minute is gone, or sometimes a song, if I want to listen a song in the meanwhile, I stop, I breathe again, and I open my eyes. I tell you, it sounds ridiculous simple, but to me it has changed my life. If you include this into your daily routine as a ritual, you will be able to also experience how fast you can create a space in your head. So again, this magic can come in. Because in the end, it's really all about one thing, which is feeling more and thinking less. And now I need to tell you something else. There was this moment of time last year, I started drawing faces, 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 in all my papers, and I really did not know why. But today I'm here. <laughs> you know the answer. I was painting you in front of me all this time. This is crazy. And I need to tell you something else. No, I do not believe in coincidences. So please, find your tool to connect to this intuition, because we all have it. All those messages are here around us. Find your tool to connect. Thank you so much. Yeah.